We start in the community of Everman, where the search for six-year-old Noel Rodriguez Alvarez, it still continues. A large search crew started work this morning. That child has reportedly been missing for months now. Our Olivia Leach, she joins us live from the Everman Civic Center, where the command post for this search and those crews are located today. Olivia. That's right, Steve. Those search crews initially set out from this command post here at 9 a.m. Chief Spencer just told me those search crews are still out searching eight hours later. Our team has been out in, on the ground here at Everman all day following those search crews as they move from location to location. Everman police tell us the search team is focusing on two large search areas, about 215 acres in total. Investigators are focusing on smaller areas. The search crews made up of expert Texar volunteers, police and investigators are using drones, canines and volunteers on foot to search for any evidence of where Noel could be. Texar volunteers even brought in boats for today's search, but we're told they haven't been used yet. Everman's police chief Spencer told me this search crew of about 50 people is larger than the last search team. They're taking their time and working meticulously so they don't miss a thing. You know, I think everybody is, is hopeful. Um, everybody's kind of set out on a mission to find something, so we're all hopeful to, come, to bring a close to this case. But I've also mentioned before, regardless of the outcome of the searches today, um, it certainly still is beneficial. It's a win for us because it tells us, uh, you know, it kind of limits the options for us, so to speak, and it really helps the investigation still push forward. So uh, we're, we're hopeful um, that we'll find something. Now, I asked Chief Spencer just a few moments, moments ago if he expects for this search to continue into Sunday. He says right now they don't have a firm timeline on the search, but they'll take a look at all their progress from today and then also take into account not overworking those search crews that have been working tirelessly out here. And then they'll determine if they'll need to continue the search tomorrow. We'll bring you an update on the search here at 10 tonight. Steve. Okay, we'll look forward to it. Thank you, Olivia. We appreciate it.